Hey everyone, I finally have got time to record new video for testing uh, and I hope every everyone is doing well and I'm, I'm very excited and I hope you are excited too. So let's see what we are going to have a look at uh, in this video. Uh, I had given a problem statement in uh, my previous blog post about what is wrong with instantiating driver on setup method. It's a very small blog post and we would have a look at this and find out what we can do to make it better. By the way, I have revamped my blog and I hope this is a clean look now and everyone likes it. So let's see the problem statement. Let's open the blog post. It says that what is wrong with instantiating driver on a setup method. We have all done this while writing Selenium test. We create a base class. Base class has some setup methods which is used to instantiate the driver as well as shut it down and the test classes would extend this base class. So this looks something like this. Um, yes, something like base class, test class using base class driver setup. Let me maximize it. So this is our test class, which is extending base class driver setup, which is very simple. We have a driver object here and we have a getter on this. We have a setup method, which does the operation of instantiating the driver. I'm using web driver manager here to instantiate the Chrome driver. And in the end, there is teardown. So we would have a look at this, how this has impact on the test which we would be doing in a while and this is our test class a very simple test class which extends base class driver setup by the way if you are new to selenium or java then this is quite advanced and you should not be seeing this video then you should be seeing my past video tutorials on java and selenium and i would link them on the description of uh, this video so let's continue here. This is our test class, which extends the base class. And the test class also has a very small test method wherein what we are doing is we are just invoking say google.com, that's all, and we are printing one statement here. There's a thread.sleep here. I just added this for sake of wait. Anyways, I'm going to run this test in debug mode so we would be able to see what is happening um, and not get rushed away with the with all of the logic behind it so let's let's run this uh, or do, did I miss something let me go back to the agenda yeah problem and yeah we are seeing the probable solution now so let me run it in debug mode So set up the driver and you see the Chrome browser has popped up here. Uh, and now you see the control has come to the get driver line, which is going to launch the Google. But did you notice something that before control could even come to get driver line, browser is already launched. And now this is the point where driver would actually be used. So if I say continue here, let me keep a debug point here. And now is the place when Google is launched and then eventually it would be quit because we have reached towards the end of the method. Now let's see what different we can do instead of instant instantiating the driver on the base method is, is there something else which we can do. So we would have a look at different class now which is test class using on demand driver setup. So let me open this here the class is here. In terms of these two test classes, actually there is not much difference. You can see here the thread.sleep. I have it here also. By the way, you should not use thread.sleep in your test like this. This is just for sake of demo. And then I launched the get driver here too. Uh, I launched the google.com here too. And then in the end, I have the print statement. But the difference here is I have the base class driver set up in the previous test class while here I have a new test setup class which is base class on demand driver setup so let's see what's, what's different in here let me open this and maximize it so you see here uh, I again have a driver object here but I am not going to set up this driver object on the before method what I will do is 
I would have the driver instantiated on the getter method. So when a test needs the driver and calls get driver, then I would check whether driver is available or not. If it is not available, which means driver is null, only then I will set up the driver and then return it. This is a very simple logic for Chrome driver. You can extend this example for Firefox or Internet Explorer or any other driver you want to use. Let us let us see these uh, two methods, uh, two classes side by slide. That would make it uh, uh, easier to review. So these are the same classes. Let me change this to a different class. And let me go here. So let's open here our new setup class and let's open here. Uh, this is the test. Yep. So this is a new setup class and let's open here. Uh, okay, I'm somehow not able to do this setup right now. Uh, let us continue on one browser. Uh, one window. Uh, let us compare it here. So in the previous setup, I had setup uh, being done on the before method here, but here I have it done on the get driver. So getter is taking care of the setup depending on when browser is needed or not. Now let me go to the test class and run it and see what happens. So I'm here on the test class using on driver on demand driver setup and let me run it on debug mode. So it's running now. Thread.sleep is running and now control is on get driver. Now if you see, I do not have Chrome launched anywhere. So this is different in comparison to the first test class wherein when the control was on this line, I had the driver being invoked. But here I don't have driver being invoked even though control is on get driver and this is happening because get driver would create the driver only if it is not available and we are not setting up anything on the before method set up here. And now let's continue this run. So let me keep a deeper point here. Let's say F8 or hit continue on the debug window. So I should have a browser launched. Yes, so this is the browser again and Google is launched here and then control goes to the next line and I can just stop the test. Now the question which we may ask ourselves is here, yeah, what is the real advantage of this? Why are we doing this? Well, actually we, sh we should launch the driver only when it is needed and not launch it you know, in the beginning of any test for various reasons. First thing, um, front end tests are intense, intense in terms of resource consumption. So browser should be used only when required, otherwise not. You may also have lots of tests which do not need any browser at all. You may have backend test, you may have um, security test or some other test which do not need browser. But if we are following the approach of creating driver, on a setup method like this, then driver or the browser is always launched, which is absolute waste of resources. Another big advantage of this approach is that if you are using a cloud service provider to run your test, for example, Sauce Lab or Browser Stack or any other provider, then you would unnecessarily be spending money on utilizing those resources when your test actually does not need a browser, isn't it? So these, these are the two biggest advantages I could think of. And in terms of code also, this, this is not a perfect code. We could still have more improvement on this. So I would be happy if you drop some comment on this video and tell me how else can we improve this. Um, what else? Yeah, if you would like to download the code which I was trying here, I would leave a link on the description of the video. So please try it out. And if you like this video, then give a thumbs up and happy learning and see you soon on the next video bye bye everybody